everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Pierre by the way um that kind of rhymes maybe I'll stick to that I realize I never really say or introduce myself in my videos so maybe I should start doing that but whatever so today I'm here with a really exciting unboxing video um I know a lot of my new and old subscribers will appreciate this but this is an unboxing video from one of my favorite old school Lolita brands and I should say old school inspired brands and that is RR Memorandum. RR Memorandum is an indie brand that is located in the UK. Um, they make handmade old school inspired Lolita pieces and they also do Lolita related pieces and they even have like print on demand, graphic tees, tote bags, all of that fun stuff and they also have um, some collaborations that they have done with other artists, um, like, such as these. Um, I've actually purchased one of them from Grave Velvet. I think that's how you pronounce it, Grave Velvet. Might be pronouncing that really horribly wrong, but I apologize. Um, they have really cool items on there. I've really wanted to get something from this brand for a long time now. Um, unfortunately, I missed the actual as soon as they released their newest um stock update so i didn't get any of like the main pieces unfortunately um and at this time I, d I can't really afford um something that big at the moment but i was able to snag some small things and um just two small things so it's nothing huge but i really just wanted to bring awareness especially because I know that a lot of people who follow me really like old school. I know that old school is becoming more popular right now. So I really recommend supporting this indie brand because they're really sweet people. I follow them on Instagram and um, it's just really inspiring and I love all of the things that they make and I really recommend them. Um, so I'm gonna unbox it, show you guys the two items that I got. Um, although small, I think that they'll be great. Um, and then I'm going to do like a little lookbook or something, show you some outfits that I do with the two items that I do, that I have. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's get right into the unboxing. So it's a pretty small package, but I have a headdress and a necklace in here. Um, I'm really excited for the future, so when I can, when I can, and if I'm able to catch, um, one of their main pieces at some point, I would love to. I'm excited to unbox this and... Um, I'll tell you guys the prices when I um, show them off, but for shipping it was £9.50, waiting to around $13 US, it's just bound to happen because they're um, not in my country, but it's really not that bad in comparison to like having to pay 20 plus dollars for shipping for something small, so let's get right into it. I'm very excited because... If you've watched my videos before, you've you've probably heard me mention this brand, and I don't know, I really like supporting small businesses that I really feel passionate about. Um, so I'm, I was really happy to be able to support them as much as I can. Um, I would love to be able to support them in bigger ways, hopefully in the future. And um, I also recently saw if you are somebody who likes to travel, I don't know if that's going to be an option or not, but I do know if anybody is um, in in the UK, they're going to be doing their first tea party. And I think it's going to be super cool. I would love to attend it, but unfortunately that's not something that I can do at the moment, but maybe in the future. All right, so this is packaged very well. Let me bring out this. I think this is just my invoice. Uh, yep, that's just my invoice. I believe this is the necklace. Kind of comes in this tiny little box. Um, so this is like, I got the blue version because I really wanted black, but they were all sold out of black, unfortunately. But I figured, you know what, blue, it's, it's pretty dark. Um, I can get away with it. Plus I have some blue in my wardrobe, but hopefully, Someday I will get the black version of this, but this is the gray velvet necklace in blue, the cross necklace in blue. Um, it's a really, I really like the shape of the cross a lot. It's very old school and um, punky almost looking. Uh, it's set in resin. Um, they also have like their little brand name on a little charm, which is really cool and neat. Um, in this lighting, it looks a lot 
brighter than I anticipated. It's like a very bright blue because it's like resin, so it's kind of see-through. Let me put it on. But I do feel like when you put it over something darker, it darkens up and that's what I really want it for. Hopefully in the future though, I can get it in black because I really love it in black, but blue is pretty good for right now. I sh I'm probably going to change out of this top to kind of show it off a little bit better, but yeah, that is the resin cross piece by Grey Velvet and that cost 15 British pounds and $20 in US. I think I'll wear this in like my everyday. It's a very good everyday piece. Um, and yeah, the actual RR memorandum piece, it's very cute. It has the little dog on it, and I believe this dog's name is Rolo. Um, so cute. I love that because I am very much a dog person. I mean, cats are very cute too, but I've grown up with dogs, so. It's like a little sticker. I feel so bad ripping the sticker. I kind of want to keep it. I'm going to try really hard to not rip the sticker so that I can preserve it. <laughs> okay, I did it. They have this tea bag that's really cute it's a it's a little special freebie of tea it's strawberry and apple tea that's very nice what does it say this is from someone named anacel tea or anacel's tea their information right there so i'll have to try this tea at some point in another video or something and tell you guys how i like it that's very sweet of them i'm i'm very thankful for that that's really nice and then this seems to be their little business card it says rr memorandum rose red Manor memorandum is what it stands for memory of an elegant spirit that's very sweet and then that's their information on the back of the card the actual main piece that i got is the, the midsummer babushka headdress and it has their little tag in here that's very sweet i love that a very nice touch it's very elegant this was 17.99 uh british pound in usd that's like 24.99 i think that's pretty worth it for a handmade headdress especially one like this like the the reason why i bought this wasn't just i mean i really wanted more headdresses that i could wear more casually um, and I really wanted one from them, but the main reason why I also got this headdress was because um, I ordered like four or five from Devils Inspired back when they did their November like Black Friday sale where they did free shipping. And I never received my order, unfortunately. So, um, and they were all like headdresses, kind of like this, more like ruffly, but this one's like way more detailed, obviously, um, and way higher quality, I'm sure. But um, yeah, so it was really unfortunate because I would kept, keep on making outfits and I'd be like, darn, if only if I had that headdress that I ordered like months ago that I'll never get, um, most likely. If we ever receive that, that's gonna be a whole storyline. But, um, so I got this. So I'm gonna go put this on and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I put the headdress on and I really, really love it. I think it is so cute and simple. Yeah, I just think that this headdress is so cute and simple and perfect for the summertime, but honestly, any time of the year, I think it'll be perfect for. So the ribbon is a really nice like satin. Um, it doesn't feel cheap at all. The quality is really, really nice. It's like a cotton material, um, but it's lightweight, so it's perfect for the summertime because you're not gonna be like sweating or anything like that. It's a good coverage. And I think it's just like perfect for casual wear, like, I don't think if you're someone who's like worried about, hey, I want to spend money on something, but I want to be able to wear it as often as I can, meaning like I want to wear it with Lolita. I also uh, want to wear it out. I'm going to the grocery store and not feel as weird. You can definitely do that with this. Um, it's perfect for casual wear, not just within Lolita. So. Now we're gonna go into showing off some looks with these two items. Okay, so for this look, I did kind of a summer casual look. I really tried to emphasize on the blue for the blue necklace that I got, like I thought it would look when I put on a darker blouse um, so that it has a darker background. It does look a lot darker. Also paired it with this, these black heart earrings that I have. And then on my second piercing, I have these dark blue 
similar to this resin piece. And then obviously the headdress. For the top, I am wearing this Jane Marple cut sew. Um, it's very simple, it's perfect for the summertime, I love it. And for a bag, I'm using the Baby the Starshine Bright Mini um, Heart Enamel Bag. I love this bag, it's perfect for styling things. On the bottom, I'm wearing Black Peace Now embroidery skirt. I think this skirt is like so fun. I really want to get more black and blue pieces because of getting this. And then underneath the skirt I'm wearing Innocent World bloomers that I pulled down a little bit so that they're peaking to give that old school proto look. Just for the socks I just did some frilly short socks with these vintage um, Skechers platform sandals which I think are like so perfect for old school especially summer looks because they're sandals of course but I love wearing them for proto Lolita looks because they're just so like of that era <laughs> um and then i'm going to do a more wintry cool look okay so for this look i went for still summery because it is summer and this is the summer babushka i did something more towards like if it was fall time or it was late fall going into winter or like early spring going into summer kind of look so i have the headdress and then the earrings that i wore for the other look and then the same keeping the gray velvet necklace um though i did notice while i was putting this outfit together that there are some bubbles in the resin which is a little sad to see but um i'm not too picky because who's going to see it that up close so and so i added that and then i had this body line blouse that i think goes really well with old school looks um it's a pretty old blouse and it has like the crochet kind of lace so i really love to do that for when i'm trying to do like a traditional lolita look I'm wearing the meta crown lace skirt um i paired that up with that and i left the blouse untucked because um that's just in early 2000s ways <laughs> just wore these homemade socks that i made i added like a ladder lace trim to it and put ribbon through it that's black satin ribbon so it matches the texture in the ribbon of in the headdress as well as just the overall color scheme and then i just paired it with some um doc martin mary janes which i love they're a huge staple in my closet and then a giant heart um black heart bag which is another staple in my closet same with the baby the starshine bright heart bag um, i just love those and that's just from taobao it's just like an off brand and yeah thank you guys so much for coming with me today to unbox this um small little unboxing with me but i had a really great time i'm so happy with the items that i have and i can't wait to purchase more from them in the future hopefully i can get this necklace in black as well hopefully in the future i can snag some main pieces but um i really just want to support this brand in any way that i can so if you are interested in old school and you want to support a um, indie brand that does these things check out our, our memorandum i'll put the link in my description to their website um and their youtube channel and their instagram and all those things um totally check them out i know that they're a little bit more expensive if you're on my channel you know that i tend to be more of a budget person but when we're talking um indie brands and buying brand new because most of the things i buy is uh, secondhand this is buying brand new um, it's really, really worth it. Uh, it's actually cheaper than some of the, you know, big brand names in Lolita if you're going to buy brand new from somewhere. Um, so it's, it's, and it's supporting something, you know, directly. So I just, I feel really good about putting, um, more money into something that I'm really, I really believe in and I want to support. So if you feel the same way and you're able to do that, totally check out their, um, their website and if you can't do that either and you really like their stuff totally feel free to you know follow them on social media and stuff i'm sure any bit of support is support to them so um yeah this was not like a sponsor video or anything this is just my own excitement for this so um yeah so i'm glad that you guys could watch this with me and i hope you had a good watch yep and i'll see you later bye